Okay. This is not sitting well with me. Uh, I'm not completely satisfied with my killer tier list that I made. Um, mainly because some killers I I know are good, but I didn't really put them in the places I wanted. Anyway, I just want to make a, a quick revision to it, so I'm recording it. Okay. Um, main things I want to make are I want to move Freddy above Huntress. Um, because mainly Freddy can't be uh, destroyed as reliably as these two specifically. Uh, just because there are some maps that are bad for Huntress and I have been destroyed as Oni a lot. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm probably just a bad Oni player, but uh, I've, I've never really been destroyed as Freddy thinking about it. So I, I just wanted to move him up a little bit. Um, I really don't see why uh, everybody thinks I'm so wrong about Ghostface and Wraith. I just, I don't understand. I actually, I put Ghostface pretty high, I think. I could have definitely put him below Myers, but I, I put him up there, so. I mean, there's, I, I cannot put him higher. I, I, I'm sorry. I don't know why everyone thinks he's so good, or, you know, so incredible. What is so great about Ghostface? Um, Legion down and pick up. Yeah. Uh, I was a bit biased for Legion because I was leveling him up and playing him a lot. So, I put him a bit higher, but he's definitely not that good. Um, even then, hey, you know what? I moved Wraith up, okay? <sighs> My problem with Wraith is I don't know when to uncloak, like, efficiency for that. Because I know there's, like, two main play styles to play as Wraith. There's Body Blocker Wraith, and there's, like, Slow Heals Wraith, which is what True Talent does. Uh, I don't know how to play both of those. And my mindset is, even if, you know, those are so great play styles... Are they, like, definitive ways of skill? Because how... How is Wraith S-tier? You guys get that? I have n I just... I guess I haven't seen a really good argument for why these guys are so much better than every other killer. I haven't seen a good argument. So please... I'm begging you, you know, in the comments, uh, please <laughs> show me what I'm missing, because I want to know. I feel like I'm missing a core part of these killers. What is so great about them? I don't know. Another controversial opinion was my placement of Spirit. Uh, I, I can't put her down here, because uh, Spirit and Nurse are very easy wins. Uh, and I do believe that she's very uncounterable even after the nerf. Apparently, some people think that she's really bad after the nerf. I don't understand that. She didn't really get heavily nerfed. It's just the part that made her insanely easy to play, which is, like, collision. That was removed. And also, she has a vault animation now, which was, like, who was doing window fakes anyway, so. <laughs> oh. Also, her add-ons got reworked. But I don't play with add-ons. I play every killer without add-ons because in my mind the base kit is the power and the add-ons are just like slight tweaks to make killing people easier i don't believe that the add-ons are part of the power so i i almost never play with add-ons unless like i'm like burning them after i get someone like to pee prestige or anything so yeah i play spirit without add-ons and uh so that change really didn't do anything in my ranking of her i think she's really strong uh, yeah. And I'll move Oni down. Um, he was a bit highly rated, just because the how he was back in the old days was fresh in my mind. Unfortunately, that is not the case anymore. Oni is... Okay now. Uh, I, I've been playing a lot of Oni recently. He's very easy to counter, so... That's all I'll say about that. Anyway, yeah, those are my revisions. Very minimal, but still. 
this is now my definitive killer deer list. So anyone that was unhappy with me, please, I'm begging you, show me why I'm wrong because no one has shown me a good case. Like no one, except for like some statistics from Ott, which really doesn't mean anything unless you're showing me what exactly about this killer makes him so great. And again, I know True Talent ranks these guys differently. He ranks them in the very booming, viable or not viable. He believes Wraith is viable. I believe all killers are viable. Um, so, I, I mean, that doesn't really do anything for me saying that he's viable. But now everyone thinks he's so good. I don't know what all the hubbub is about. Anyway, yeah. Just tell me why I'm wrong. And, uh, bye guys. Oh, also, um, I, I feel like people are not mad at my, uh, or, you know, mad, I, mean, I, keep, I keep saying that, upset, right, with my, my ranking of the killers, I think they're more upset with my critical opinions of True Talent. I like True Talent, I think he's a funny guy, he's a very funny meme. Uh, I do like his streams, he's a very good content creator for Dead by Daylight. I don't like how, uh, how, uh, definitive he is in his killer opinions, I just think things are more flexible than that, and, like, the booming, this killer is better than this killer is kind of like really obnoxious and even the thing i don't like about him the most is well yeah it's just that very definitive oh i'm going to lose this match just because of you know something such and such so i don't know i think he could be a little bit more uh lenient with his like assumptions about how the game works i know he's played it a lot so have i but i i he gets on my nerves sometimes. So, yeah.